<laughs> Yo, what's up guys? How's it going? Um, so I'm gonna do a car vlog, but I'm not gonna drive. I realized Not just that my car is really loud and like in terms of road noise and stuff like that um, But uh, I really have nowhere to go so <laughs> As uh, as real as that sounds uh, It is what it is But um, no today's been a productive day. I um Went to the gym over in Seal Beach, which was really cool. I uh, took the scenic route around Ocean Boulevard, which was nice. And um, got back, got some work done for um, other stuff I had to take care of. And uh, yeah, so car vlog, as you can see from the title, it's going to be my thoughts on the E63. Um, let me see if I can do some kind of intro. Uh, so yeah, hit it. Okay, <laughs> as I'm not moving, I realize this is a little more awkward than actually driving and talking, but um, we'll see how it goes. So I have some notes here on my thoughts on the E63. Um, but yeah, it was announced pretty recently, and um, I wanted to respond to one of the comments I had from a good old friend. Uh, shout out to you for giving me the idea on this. Um, but yeah, let's get to it. So the new E63 has now has a 4 liter V8 from the... Um, AMG GT C63 and the S63 AMG, which is it's a great engine. Um, but I think this is probably the best it's been in terms of like one of the sedan variants, because in the S version it's actually at 603 horsepower, 605. Shoot, I can't read it. Anyway, 603 horsepower or whatever, and 620 the 27 pound feet of torque. Man, I'm really bad at this. Um. But in the base model, it's 563 and 553, which, you know, that's a, that's still a lot. Like, the difference in 0 to 60 is 0.1 seconds. Well, what, does that even matter anymore? Um, yeah, 3.4 versus 3.3 seconds. Like, come on, that's still fast. After that, 0.1 seconds isn't going to get you anywhere. And that's, like, within the, you know, variation of launches. Um, but what's cool, like, I was reading up a little bit on it, is the cylinder deactivation. It kind of went into a little more detail. Um, you know, Corvettes have it, a lot of big V8s have it these days. Um, but here they talk about which cylinders were off, which I thought was pretty cool. They shut down cylinders 2, 3, 5, and 8. Um, you know, if they usually number the cylinders, you can, I'll probably put a little image on how companies number their cylinders on a V8. And, um, I just thought it's cool how it's not necessarily the, like, actually don't look into it much, so I don't know what to say about it. Anyways. Moving on, <laughs> uh, something else is the fact that it's now all-wheel drive. So you're seeing a lot of the companies are now moving to this as their uh, drivetrain setup. Uh, just because now engines are getting so powerful and rear-wheel drive isn't enough to put the power down. Not enough grip to the rear wheels alone, so they have to distribute to all four wheels. It's good because, you know, it's safer, obviously. It's more practical. Um... But, you know, we're going to miss the old days of, you know, rear-wheel drive, sedans, um, you know, drifting, you know, all those YouTube videos of them going on, drifting around roundabouts in Germany or whatever it was in Russia. It's crazy cool drivers. Um, but it does have a drift mode, which, you know, turns off civilian mode. It's kind of like the Focus RS, uh, now that I think about it. And, um, yeah, aside from that, it looks great on the inside. It's the... So what do you expect in terms of the next step down from the S class, which is, you know, already a great interior, but a step up from the C class, which is, you know, still a great interior. So it's that nice in between, and I think it's the best interior compromise of all of them. S class, I think it's a little too much, honestly. Um, in the C class, you know, you have that little pop up screen, you still have that. Um, e class integrates that into the, uh, the dashboard, which is cool. Um, aside from that, it's. Wow. I don't know. I don't know what else. I need to start planning these better. Anyway, um, yeah, that's the E sixty three AMG S. No, E sixty three S AMG Mercedes AMG E sixty. Whatever the name is, um, there you have it. Check it out. There's probably gonna be some YouTube videos coming up soon about actually people reviewing the car because. They have much bigger YouTube accounts than I do, and um, they get cool stuff like that. But hey, one day, if I kill it, 
on YouTube and you guys help me out, um, I can maybe get in some cars. We'll see. Uh, until then, that was my brief little um, snippet on my thoughts on the E63 AMG S or however you're going to call it. Um, until next time, I will catch you all later. Uh, it's a long way to go. I'm to get better at this. All right, guys. Peace.